Covering Hilo to Kona, Javi to Na'alehu, this is Big Island Video News. I'm Stephanie Salazar. County fire crews fought a four-acre brush fire in Waimanu Valley on Sunday. A plume of white smoke was said to be visible from the Waipio Valley lookout. Water drops were performed and police kept hikers from entering the dangerous area during the operation. Cause of the brush fire is under investigation. Lawmakers listened at a community meeting in Hilo on Saturday. Hosted by Representative Richard Onishi, the event gave House leadership the chance to brief the community on the 2013 legislative session and hear feedback on issues that matter to constituents. Some of it is uh, funding issues. Some of it is spending issues. Joining Onishi were State House Vice Speaker John Mizuno, Majority Leader Scott Saiki, Majority Floor Leader Karen Awana, and Big Island State Representatives Mark Nashima, Cliff Suji, and Faye Hanohano. What they heard was a lot about the University of Hawaii College of Pharmacy, which the State House failed to appropriate funding for this session even the state senate did so in their version of the proposed budget. The room was full of university supporters and the audience pleaded with the lawmakers to consider the project next session. So you're not only affecting jobs, you're affecting children that want to be able to stay home and they really can't right now. And so it's, it's much bigger than just today. It's our future. Representative Cliff Suji tried to explain. For those who feel that the legislature Later has been remiss in not listening to the community and the wishes of the University of Hawaii. I gotta say, I don't think that's true. In fact, I think it's far from the truth. Another hot topic was genetically modified organisms, or GMOs, which were the focus of some high-profile measures this session. Uh, it was a very interesting discussion. I think there is a lot more discussion to be had uh, many of the states, uh, the people that represented states, really believe that the federal government needs to really begin to have a dialogue. County officials also tried to advocate for certain home rule issues during the meeting. Hapuna Beach State Park was closed on Friday after a diver found an unexploded ordinance in the waters off the popular Kohala Coast Park. According to the Department of Land and Natural Resources, the diver brought the object ashore to the park concession area. Hawaii County Police evacuated the public and the DLNR crews established a safety perimeter around the object. The U.S. Army Schofield Barracks Unexploded Ordnance Unit arrived on the island that day to help handle the situation. Unexploded ordnance has been found at Hapuna in the past. The explosives are most likely left over from World War II era military activity. A fundraiser was held for the incarcerated cannabis minister Roger Christie on Saturday at a farm off Pohoiki Road in Puna. A day of live music entertained the many who attended. Christie has been detained for nearly three years without a trial on federal charges related to his THC ministry, which he says distributed marijuana as part of a religious sacrament. The last time I saw Roger was three years ago today. Aaron Anderson, the founder of the Liberty Life Skills Learning Center, was the host of the event. It was also his birthday. This needs to get some big time national publicity. But I, I, can't, I don't have the means to do that in my hand. But we're doing this, and, it, and, and I think it's going to be really successful. And if it is, we'll use it as a model and go forward. Plenty of Puna's people are in support of Christie. The man is really a good example of humanity. He's a good man, and he administered the pot, the sacrament, the cannabis, in a way that made it available to people who needed it for a variety of reasons, mostly medicinal, but spiritual. Christie even enjoys the support of Pune State Senator Russell Rudeman, who on Saturday jammed on stage with his band Terrapin Station. Four winners from Hawaii Island were honored at the 2013 HMSA Kaimana Awards and Scholarship Program Ceremony held this Saturday at the Hawaii Convention Center on Oahu. The annual program recognizes all-around accomplishments by high school and student athletes. 
It's the only statewide program that combines academic, sportsmanship, and community service with athletics. The Big Island winners were Namele Naipo Arsiga, Taylan Ota, Hilton Raithel, and Keao High School's Christina Chow. Tina was cross country team captain and also played tennis. She also was National Honor Society President, Senior Class Valedictorian. A lot of the athletes that do deserve to be recognized are the ones who put in the extra time in the classrooms and their community, and I think that's it makes them feel special to be um, recognized for that. The keynote speaker was 2012 Olympic bronze medalist Clarissa Chun. That's a well-rounded, balanced person to be able to like uh, balance their life, their academics, and their sport. You know and I think giving back to the community is like, is kind of like the gift that give, keeps on giving, you know, and um, I think this is an amazing program that I wish uh, they had that when I was around. <laughs> 30 high schools received awards and 21 student athletes were honored with scholarships. I figured when I first got involved, anybody who took a class that had biology, I was going to give them an award. And then I looked. How in God's name all these kids get 4.2? Kailu Wakona celebrated the memory of King Kamehameha the Great on Saturday with its annual parade down Ali'i Drive. Usually held the first weekend following the state holiday, after the lay draping ceremonies and festivals in Hilo and North Kohala, the Kamehameha Day Parade is always well attended. I think it's wonderful. I've never seen so many horses in one place in my life. The flowers are beautiful. The women are just decked out to the hilt. It's just wonderful. It's a wonderful, wonderful parade. Former Senator Daniel Akaka was Grand Marshal. It's great to be here in Kona. It's a beautiful day and a beautiful occasion, and that is to celebrate the memory and celebrate our great Mo'i, Kamehameha I. Senator Akaka was accompanied by members of his family, including his daughter-in-law, Anna, who led an equestrian unit as this year's Pa'u Queen. And we have the family riding also on horses, uh, so it'll be a grand day, and it makes me feel, after reading, that it started in 1871 when King Kamehameha V designated uh, the holiday to be for his great-grandfather. Barbara Nobriga is the chairperson of the Kamehameha Day Parade in Kona. She's been doing it since 1967. Things haven't changed. People are still late. People are still slow. <laughs> the whole idea behind this is to educate the people, especially in the Pau section. We want them to learn the Hawaiiana. We want them to learn the flowers, the native flowers. We don't want imported flowers incorporated in their lays. How they're done, there's different ways to make a lay. We want them to learn all of that. There are eight Pau units with a minimum of six horses in each unit. I think the Queen's unit has about eight horses. The Grand Marshal's unit has four horses and there are private units in here. We've got the minis, we've got another carriage coming through. So there's probably a hundred plus horses. After the parade, a ho'olaulea was held at Courtyard King Kamehameha's Kona Beach Hotel.